MySpace was having little niggas learn coding, which was fire. Like if you wanted the the BBC ice cream like frame for your MySpace shit, when you go in and like really write code for that, that's hard. Now niggas just argue about everything. MySpace was like friend base. I fucked with that shit. Songs on the page is hard. Like when you click on someone's shit. I think that's how I heard a bunch of shit. That's how I heard him. Actually, from MySpace. That's crazy. Very rare. Montreal, it's me. Alonzo Morning. We really in this bitch going crazy, man. How did 10-year-old Tebe see the world? How was life when I was 10? Um, um, I think my primary focuses in life was just going to the league. Like I was just gonna be in the NBA and I was just not trying to like do homework or like shower or whatever. I've always been kind of silly. I enjoyed like making people laugh and shit. So it's just yeah, I think fourth grade niggas was just wearing multiple pairs of basketball shorts under their jeans, you know what I mean? Like it was like that time in life. Did you go to prom? I did not go to prom, dog. I didn't go to prom because by the time that prom was happening, I was already Earl Sweatshirt. And beyond any of that, just because I know they gonna get mad when they hear this shit, I was like dating this girl. I don't know, I realized why well, I didn't want to date this girl. Um, I immediately started dating this other girl. And then I was like really scared about the prom thing. So I was just like, there is no prom. I don't believe in prom. Like, I'm not going to prom. Um, 86, dog. 86 is like, 86. And I'm just gonna be like, the fuck? It's gonna be like 20. It's gonna be almost 2100. That's disgusting, bro. I don't. Like, is there gonna be like water? I, like, I don't know. Uh, 86? Hopefully the beard connects. Um, probably be shorter than I am right now. Um, what, I, hopefully I, I got this shit on right here. Well, 86. Um, grandkids and shit might smell a little weird. You know what I mean, like the youngest person in my family might not like kicking it with me by that time. Uh, 86. I'm trying to be winding it down. You hear me? I'm not trying to be like a working ass. Alright, for sure. That's what's good. That's a good noise, always. That's what's up. What is my superpower? Um, don't I fuck with people. Uh, I fuck with people. That's my superpower. I fuck with people. Mmm. Uh, my first favorite cartoon was Tom and Jerry. Um, I fuck with Courage. 
Cowardly Dog. I fuck with Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go with Huey Freeman though, off off the Boondocks. I used to read the comics. My mom used to give me the the, the comic books. It was, I ain't gonna lie, it was uh, a bit like less silly. The comic strips, the show was real good, but it was, it was kind of silly. The, uh, yeah, the comic, comic stri strips was really uh, important to me, like, growing up. And even just, like, contextualizing myself or having an identity that I, that I've really, like, aligned with. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done? Oh, um... <laughs> Oh shit! What's the what's the most romantic shit I ever did? Oh, um, I've done some shit. Hold on, I'm, I uh, I um. <laughs> what is the most ro uh like romantic romantic most romantic thing I ever did I I I like got it I don't know nigga oh. <laughs> why am I drawing a blank on this right I'm I'm romantic nigga I'm very romantic. I'm a very. <laughs> it's, it's my love for my grandmother that make me gentle and I care. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you gotta believe that. You gotta take my word for that. I think love is uh, the unifier. You like need love to do a lot. How would I define it? The unifier. I had the same one that everyone else has. Oh my God, it's all connected. And that's love. Like, wow. This has an effect on that. Like, yo. It's all alive. I like micro dose now, and that shit just like give me energy. Like I don't even do the whole, but I, I guess that could be like a the beginning of what sends you into that. Like, oh, you know what I mean, like it's all. Message to the youth is OD. Uh, keep your heart. Don't rush into it. Also, don't be afraid to grow up, though, too. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep your heart. My triality, we in this bitch. Dwayne, you feel me? Dwayne Perkins. Montreality show. That's one thing about this shit, stay yourself. Stay out of trouble, trust me. Stay off drugs. Stay away from ridiculously pretty girls. Like, yeah.